हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वन मोर केस इन काइस स्क्वायर टेस्ट ऑफ गुडनेस ऑफ फिट एंड द केस दिस टाइम इज अ डाई इज थ्रोन 150 टाइम्स विद द फॉलोइंग रिजल्ट्स नंबर टर्न्ड अप 119 टाइम्स 223 टाइम्स 328 टाइम्स 417 टाइम्स 532 टाइम्स 631 टाइम्स दैट मींस द इवेंट इन्वॉल्वड इज एक्सपेरिमेंट इज throwing a die tossing a die and getting the result or recording the result and we know that the possible outcomes are 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 they happen to be these number of times if we toss or throw a die 150 times yeah test the hypothesis that the die is unbiased take 5% level of significance the die is unbiased if we believe that the die is unbiased then the classical or theoretical probability of each and every outcome comes to 1 by 6. 1 itself is favorable case and total outcomes are 6. Similarly 4, 2, similarly 4, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And for test of goodness of fit, the formula for expected frequency remains constant. N or sigma f into probability. We have the probabilities believing the die unbiased. So, sigma f or n is 150 into probability gives us expected frequency of 125. Since all the probabilities are equal, the expected frequency must also remain equal. Yes, okay, actual or observed frequency then expected frequency and they are 25 for all the six possible cases if the die is believed to be unbiased, yeah, this case is more or less like the case of uniform distribution, but without using the term uniform distribution also we can go ahead, yeah, 19 minus 25 minus 6 minus 2 positive 3 minus 8, positive 7, positive 6, yeah, O minus E, the whole square, 36, 4, 9, 64, uh, 49 and 36, yes, O minus E, the whole square divided by E, 36 divided by 25, 1.44, 4 divided by 25, 0 0.16, 9 divided by 25, 0 0.36. 64 divided by 25, 2.56. 49 divided by 25, 1.96. And 36 divided by 25, again 1.44. And the total of these values is 7.92. And the total itself is the chi-square or calculated value of chi-square. Okay. What is the hypothesis to be tested? The die is unbiased. That is to be taken as null hypothesis. What do we mean by the die is unbiased? The practical meaning of the term the die is unbiased is the die is without any kind of manufacturing defect. Because die is ultimately man-made thing or manufactured thing. Another meaning of the word the die is unbiased means if the die is unbiased then there is no significant difference between the occurrence pattern of occurrence of all the results actual and theoretical. Theoretical means if the die is believed to be unbiased and this is the result of practical experiment. There is not a significant difference between these two patterns that is the meaning of this null hypothesis the die is unbiased by this term actually we mean there is no significant difference in these two patterns of occurrence of the results yeah and alternative hypothesis is the die is not unbiased or the die is 
biased. Okay. Alpha is to be taken as 0 0.05 because 5% 5 level of significance has been given. And degrees of freedom. Number of classes. Always take number of classes. There are 6. So degrees of freedom is as high as 5. Similar kind of problem we discussed in the earlier lecture. But the number of classes was 4. Because the second class was result 2 or 3. The third class was result 4 or 5. See the difference between the two similar kind of cases. That's why I am also discussing this problem here. Otherwise the previous problem was also there. Tossing a die 60 times. Here tossing a die is 150 times. But the difference to be understood is... Difference between the defined classes of results. Yes, please mind well. Compare it with, compare this case with the previous case. That is the difference. Okay. Uh, critical value for 5 degrees of freedom. At 5% level of significance is 11.07. So let's compare the results. Chi square calculated is 7.92. Chi square critical 11.07. So the calculated value of chi square is less than the critical value. Hence, the null hypothesis is accepted. And it is concluded that the die is unbiased. The die is unbiased. That means since these frequencies are not exactly 25, it is not that the die is biased. These frequencies are not 25 because there is no problem in the die. Die is unbiased. But there is a problem in tossing. The say experiment has not been performed in the homogeneous condition. That can be the result. This is the kind of argument where we conclude that the die is unbiased or the die is honest. Yes, I hope now you will be able to understand the thing with the help of last two cases. Don't forget to compare this case, particularly degrees of freedom and results point of view. Yeah? And don't forget to like this video, other videos. Don't forget to suggest this video, other videos and my channel. And if you also have not still subscribed to my channel, my YouTube channel, Prashant Puar, P R S H N T P U W R. Yes? And very soon I am going to start separate lectures with Hindi explanations. That's it. Thank you very much.